So it wasn't three. You have two different midrash. Midrash, okay. So according to midrash, what what age was he thrown into the fire? What, Would have prob well. It wouldn't mean. I think he's like thrown like really young. I don't know. The Medrash I read was three, then he smashed the idols around 11 or 12, that's and then threw into the fire. That's the famous that's... one. There's another one that's at the age of 40. I didn't know the famous one. It calculates in a different way. Okay. So, but like I said, there's several, there are several Medrashim, and that's why perhaps why the Torah doesn't focus so much on it. That right now, the focus is what happened on the age of 75. And the age of 75 is when he came to intellectual understanding. So that's when Hashem turns around to him and he says, leave your land. Now, based upon the understanding, based upon this explanation that the three stages, Maratzecha is, um, is no, the impression is leaving, but how you, you sorry, not your land. The Maratzecha is, shares the same choice as Rotz, or Rotzoin, the will, which implies that it's something which is nature by, natural by you. So leave your natural process, the way you've been naturally developed. Then, from, from the place that you were born, your city, your environment, the way you impre- the way that people have had impressions, society has impressed their understanding of how you should be. So you should leave that as well. And then that's the greatest part. is Avraham, whatever you are up to, whatever you're intellectually up to, you need to leave behind. So you have reached a particular point. Um, according to intellectual capability, but now I need to show you Me'eretz, uh, Le'eretz, to the land. Now don't forget, Le'eretz shares the same short source as Maritzach. They're both for a form of rotting, rot yeah. to, oh, uh, the, to the desire. Maritzach, the first Maritzach that Hashem says, refers to your natural instincts, your natural desires, your natural will that you were grown up with. But once you reach a point of intellectual ca- capability, effectively, most people, when they reach that natural identity, through, well, it's not natural, when they reach that identity or natural intellect of who, their, their natural, their intellectual identity, they're not going to progress much further. So how do you make the jump? And that's when Hashem says, the, you, the way you make the jump is through me. I'm going to show you Le'eretz. I'm going to show you the land, the next stage of your Ratzin, of where you want to get to, I'm going to show you it. So after the Chochmah. After the Chochmah. So the first stage we all have to reach is understanding where we get to, understanding who we are. You know, throughout life you grow, up, you grow up either with your natural capabilities, your natural talents. Then after that you grow up um, through society putting an impression on you, how I'm meant to be, social media, my family, my... But even when you reach, okay, playing tales out, okay? Yeah. But when you reach that clock on stage, sometimes you come to the realization that you don't want to take that jump because you realize it's all a bunch of whatever or you just feel some people go got to death at that point so it's not an easier transition than, it, than he's trying to explain it's like you, you get your clock and there you is just, no transition there is no transition from ourselves no but so much from, once you reach the clock on stage then you go on to the next stage no you can't from yourself you can't do that that's why Hashem says I will show you because as individuals we can't make that transition that's what I'm saying. Most people will stop at will at me base of Okay. And the reason why the the Torah swaps <laughs> around the journey, Marsecha, because me base of is the final stage. Because that is generally where most of humanity and society will say, I understand who I am. What more do I need to understand? Now I yeah. need to refine myself, my middles, my ethics, my morals. I, you know, I, I I'm comfortable with who I am. But it's at that stage that we can make the jump. The, da- the, the, not the issue, but the waiting factor, the, the factor where we have to um, take into consideration is we have to be shown it. Now, what we do know is Le Eretz, where Hashem says to the land, we know where that land is, and that is Eretz Yisrael. Even though Hashem doesn't specifically state in the Torah, I'm going to take you to the land of Israel, or we'll show you the land, or, and rather it's a very long journey where Avram's going to, you know, this... The journey that Avram's, the journey that Hashem is telling Avram, doesn't just happen later when he, after going to Egypt, he goes back to Eretz Yisrael. That journey is actually for the next 400 years, when eventually the Yidden will cut, leave, uh, leave Mitzrayim and come back to the land of Israel 40 years after you see Mitzrayim. But that in itself is the Mibes Avicha, but it's a natural, well, not natural, it's a 
time-based concept, and it's also where Moshe Rabbeinu, where Hashem, where the Yidden, the descendants of Raham, develop and grow. But that jump that's needed from Mibei Sovicho to the to the land that I'm going to show you, that's only possible with the help of Hashem. So obviously, the question that needs to be asked is, well, how do I achieve this? How do I go from Mibei Sovicho? from my intellectual identity, from my understanding of what, what I'm meant to be, who I am, to where Avraham got, got to. And so, first of all, when the, the, getting to where Avraham got to isn't the actual goal per se, because Avraham was our ancestor, he was a Markova, he was a chariot of, of the Rosh of Hashem, of the will of Hashem. It's not like we're suddenly gonna make that jump, ourselves, that God will help us make that jump. He might. God might help us make that jump, but in general, that's not the necessarily what we're trying to achieve. What we are trying to achieve is utilizing the same the same lessons or the same goals that Hashem has laid out for us, that laid out for our, laid out for Avraham, which was to the land I'm going to show you, which is Eretz Yisrael. What's Eretz Yisrael? Again, there's numerous different messages. Messages. But one of the one of the messages of Eretz Yisrael <coughs> is the the the. The, the, the settling of the land with the seven, with the with the Esospheris, with the seven the, the seven nation the seven nations of um, Canaan, which is the seven emotional attributes with the three the uh, the Canaanite, Canizi, and sorry, no the Canaanite, Canizi, no it's the three that we haven't the three we haven't yet. Could be the Prizi. But there's three nations we haven't conquered yet. Uh, seven we have and three we haven't. So the seven we have conquered, the seven we have, well, not conquered, the seven that were settled in Eretz Yisrael, where we are continuously working, either fighting, negotiating, compromising. I don't want to get into politics right now. It's not my, sorry? The Philistines. I'm not, I'm not getting into politics right now. But there are three that we're not going to have to fight. And that is the Kna, uh, the Kinesi, um, Kineni, Kine. Not the point right now. Have... No, no, no. This... but the point those three those three represent the intellectual abilities. Chach mo bina and das. The what? Small and Small and Why am I supposed to edit it now? <laughs> Music goes up at that point. <laughs> so yeah, the three that haven't been conquered. I might, I might just end it earlier. So. <laughs> <laughs> so the the three that haven't been conquered, which is Chochmah, Bina, and Das, there is not going to be a conquering. Rather, by natural consequence, the Chochmah, Bina, and Das, the three nations that is refer that the Torah is referring to, that the Yidden eventually will come back and take control of, will be done by natural process, and that is the vi- that is the goal we're meant to we're meant to reach. So, for in the, most of us are never going to know if we've made the jump that Avraham made, where Avraham said, where Hashem says to Avraham, leave. I'm going to show you it, but our mission is to continuously refine that chokhmah bina and das. We start off obviously with chokhmah based of icha. We start off with our, uh, that first stage, which is refining our own intellectual identity, and then from that, if we continuously refine who we are, what we are meant to be doing, where I'm at, which is done obviously through study, through the intellectual elements of Judaism, then hopefully that in turn will lead on to bina and das the comprehension and the understanding, which in turn leads on to our conquest on a personal level of conquering our seven emotional levels, as well as hopefully on a spiritual level, conquering the spiritual seven nations of the world, which is the negative elements of this of this world itself. L'chaim.